this is Shiver, and I made a video for you with the help of Fishbone from Skonis Elite and uh, he's gonna tell us more about how to play Crystal Maiden on a competitive level. Uh, this is the first of hopefully many more videos to come and I would really like your opinion of it so please leave your comments below the video on the comment section of YouTube and uh, if you have any suggestions for heroes and players that you want to hear next please leave those suggestions as well and last please subscribe to my YouTube that is very much appreciated and if you want to see more then uh, you should definitely see subscribe so enjoy and until next time welcome with me is Fishbone from Sconus Elite, a former Infused, and uh, we're going to talk about Crystal Maiden. Hello, hello. Hello, indeed. So, uh, this is mostly meant for people that want to take their Crystal Maiden to the next level in competitive play. So, just so people are aware, this is purely for competitive play. Um, a while back, you sent me an item build yeah. uh, for the Crystal Maiden. Can you elaborate some on that? Yeah, well, uh, do you have it like in for you now? Yes, I have. In front of you? Okay. Well, uh, it all really depends, but it's it's mostly like chicken and words. So it's either it's either sentries or uh, observers. You have to talk to the team, and uh, also you could you could get smoke at level one. It's really situational, depending on your lane partners. If you wanna go uh, smoke early game. You could get it, and uh, yeah, you will. You will. You will most likely go to a double lane or three lane. So, <coughs> so like yeah, yeah, you need some uh, tangos and clarities as well. Maybe some branches. That's the more normal starting build. Okay, and can you tell me something about uh, situational items? Because of course they are situational. What kind of situations would you go for what? It's the same thing there. It, it, it all really depends on the team. You have to talk to the team because it's like always someone always get their urn in most cases. So you have to ask if if you should get the urn and uh, how much money you get. Because yeah, and uh, dust of course if someone got invis and uh, gem gem you, you can buy gem like if you got good control, but you will never. Never carry it, because yeah, if they kill you, they will they will take it. And Crystal Maiden d dies a lot if you're bad uh, in a bad position. So yeah, Vanguard, I don't know, it's a <laughs> it's pretty bad right now. But yeah, uh, drums, you could you 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 usually get a bracer for the HP. So drums is never a bad item to get. You could it you could even get several drums on the team. So it doesn't really matter if uh, your teammate got it. But um, yeah, medallion is also really nice if you got money for it. Doesn't really give any HP, but yeah. And f four staff uh, if uh, uh, in the late game if you got that much money. Ghost captors and if they got uh, a lot of right clickers. And uh, who do you almost never get? But yeah. <clears throat> but it's it's mostly just try to get up uh, if you're in like a tree lane versus tree lane. Try to get up a quick magic stick, so you get the charges pretty standard. And if you get like a first blood, you could either either get a quick boots, which is really nice if you're if you're up against a lane that you know will fight against you. But if you know it like that you will just like go pulling and uh, just take it chill in the beginning, just uh, upgrade the chicken if you get the early kill. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, well, good uh, tips. Item. And you you instantly mentioned already a part um, uh, that I want to talk about also um, in early game for Crystal Main. What exactly is your role normally? Well, it it really depends. Like um, if you're on a tree lane or like in in the middle lane with an anti match, you should you should always get the two nukes in the early game, like Frost Nova and Bite, like level one, level two. So. Uh, you, sh you should just try to, uh, if you're uh, if you're with an anti match for example, Wagamama anti match for the win, you should just uh, try to uh, <coughs> harass them away and uh, and deny deny your creeps, not taking any creeps from your carry of course. So uh, yeah, and they, if you got a good uh, opportunity to kill, just uh, bam your both spells and uh, they should die. 
but don't uh, don't always try to have uh, mana for both spells. So if you got that clarity up, you could harass a bit with the Nova, but always have uh, mana for the both both spells in case you might uh, want to kill. So don't don't just throw your spells in the like waste. Okay, yeah. you also uh, mentioned pulling. That's something yeah. that uh, Orcus Veins I would expect are supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. If you're not in the mid lane, you should. Uh, okay, you could you could pull as the radiant in the mid lane as well. But uh, yeah, if you're you should just uh, if if you if you carry if you're in the east lane, you gotta carry, which got free farm. You should just double stack. And uh, and uh, let him get more free farm, and even triple stack. <clears throat> but if you go against like a killer lane, you could just do a normal pull, so so we get pushed and uh, you get pushed and. Uh, you just want to avoid the fights, so uh, that's a really nice way to get uh, money for Crystal Maiden because she might not be the best last hitter out there, and uh, you you usually just want to give your farm to uh, to your allies. So the the way you get cash is like from pulling and uh, killing heroes if you accidentally get last hits. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Well, that brings me again directly to the next one because that is usually an, an issue for a lot of people that play Crystal Maiden, or at least I know that is uh, an issue for me. Uh, around the mid game, I find myself unable to. If you have a, a Ragman Mark anti mage or jumping around, yeah. you won't have your jungle to farm anymore because you'll have that as well. You'll have the lanes. Where do you get your gold from? Well, uh, <coughs> you, you will just try to either pull or just go with the team. Because if you got like an uh, a carry like anti mage, it's it's mostly like you want to do like a four one strat, which means that everyone is going together except the carry. So you you just want to fight. You don't really care. You if you get the towers, you will get your money. It's it's like for every support player know that it's hard to get money if you don't get any kills and even if you if you're pulling, but when the tower falls, you you always get up your items, so it's not that hard. You you should not you should not stress it. Oh, I don't have boots. I don't have I don't have my items. I want to go kill, and you go for like s trying to Sulu kills and uh, go for random ganks. You should you should never get panic. You should always be calm. Just wait, because the money will get there. Okay, and that brings me to late game. Uh, if the anti uh in the same situation, uh, talking about that, uh, gets big enough, you'll be having uh, those massive team fights, or at least that is uh, that is at some point the aim uh, in late game, and that will happen. What is your role in that? Because you would be the squishiest target out there, I would assume. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's just you just try to you will always try to throw your spells. You will always stay far, far, pretty far back. It's not like you want to bait or something, because it's nothing to bait about. They don't even have to waste ulti to kill you. So you just want to throw your two spells and then uh, back off a bit and just try to get all of your spells. And uh, if they, if their main carry got like a cooldown on BKB or don't even have BKB, you should always try to frostbite them. Yeah, and if you got a good, uh, good position, you might get off an ulti, but that's pretty rare. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just try to get off your your both spells. Right click don't even matter. <coughs> right click crystal made it so powerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, and one thing I kind of I kind of passed up on, but you keep uh, mentioning it anyway. So uh, the spec you mentioned the first two spells, of course, the nukes. What is exactly yeah. your spec build in uh, in the game for Crystal Maiden? Well, it's it's most uh, most of the time it's like Frost Nova level one. And then bite and Nova and bites, etc. But uh, in some cases, that's like 80% of the game. But in some cases, I get bite at level one if you're up against a solo hero, or maybe just yeah, want bite. <laughs> if you not want another stun, like a, you got a chain stun lane, you want two stuns in a row. Okay. But uh, if you want like to keep, just uh, if there is like a beast monster off lane, you might try to. Uh, and you know you got Nova. You might try to uh, go go uh, versus you into jungle one on one. And if uh, you use Nova it, and there's creep nearby, he will pull the creeps, and it's and he will get experience from uh, your your lane. So if you just got bite in that situation, you can just bite him, and he can't really face you. 
Okay, and you yeah. totally neglect your ultimate and your aura? Uh, yeah, most of the times, but it's 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 some rare occasions if you got like real real spamming heroes like let's say Shaker, Razor, Crystal Maiden. It's kind of old school, but it still works. So if you got like that, you could you you should always get the two nukes level one and two, almost not like ninety five percent of the time. But then you could get some in Aura if everyone needs it. Shaker is probably the best hero for Crystal Maiden Aura, in my in my opinion. So if there there's a lane with Shaker, and uh, we used to do like not so so long ago, like Shaker Maiden and uh, Sniper Lane, which is pretty effective. And I uh, most of the time I skill the Aura, so we could just spam the shit. So we don't even have to go. We just have to throw our range stuff and range spells and. Uh, just back up and re regenerate with a uh, ring for Basilus and uh, Crystal Maiden Aura, <laughs> kind of effective. But yeah, I'm rambling. Okay, well no, that wasn't random. That was uh, indeed uh, pretty useful. <coughs> um, last, do you have any specific tips for people that are gonna try out Crystal Maiden in competitive play? Mm, any specific tips? Um, like overall speaking, what can they watch out yeah, for? Yeah, yeah, like I said earlier. I think it's many many players get panic when they don't have like boots and stuff. You should always just be close to your team if you're if you're weak, and not not be too aggressive, because it's it's really it's all about the positional play. So you, you have to be in the right position at the right time. Like even if you're low level, you you could like save and care save a carry if they dive him and you're you're there and you're there because you you have great map awareness and you know they will be there. And gank him, and you will come with a Nova and bite, and maybe you get a, t a, a turn, <coughs> and maybe you kill them instead, and that means everything. I mean everything. So it's real about it's all about the positional plane and uh, like knowing where the opponent is, is, even if you don't know where they are. And uh, also have have wards up in the map like always, and they, if they got like a gem or sentries, you should. Try different, try different positions with awards because it could be really effective. And you would go those, for those strange uh, wards. <laughs> you could go for wards over boots. Um, and uh, most of the time, no, because you you almost always have like two supporters or one one semi supporter and one normal supporter. So you let the uh, you let the normal uh, supporter get because. Uh, Almost always, someone of them have like the better start. So the better, better start. Uh, if you got like boots already and you don't, you should let him get observers because boots is so important. But sometimes you, if they just out ganking you, let's say they have a night stalker, is running in the river all the time, you should just buy wards. In the, or a patch, maybe it's really annoying if you don't have wards. So sometimes, yeah, but it's, it's pretty rare. Yeah, and very, very situational, I guess, then, as well. Yeah, it's hard to say. Well, uh, thank you. I hope uh, this is helping, going to help people uh, play their Crystal Maiden at a competitive level. And uh, thank you for uh, taking the interview. Yeah, thank you.